Cassie here. Now it is time for your 15 minute fit test for abs. You guys, we have been training for this and I'm excited to see how far we can get without stopping. So I picked 15 moves. Each move will be done for 50 seconds with a 10 second break. And these are your moves. Roll ups, single straight leg stretch, double leg stretch, star abs, double leg lift, single leg drop, flutters, windmill, single leg jackknife, cheerleader L's, butterfly crunch, butterfly sit up, reverse crunch, corkscrew, and plank. You guys, this is going to be a toughie. We will be shaking, we'll be sore, but that's how I like my fitness. I like pushing myself and getting stronger. It's all about seeing how much better I can do this time than the last time I did it. And that's what I really like about this fit test. Now listen, no shame and don't feel bad if you can't make it all the way to the end. Everyone is on a separate fitness journey and you just have to understand there's no sense in comparing yourself to anyone else but yourself, okay? So if you are ready to take the 15 minute fit test for your abs, make sure you are subscribed to Blogilates, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. Now our first move is the roll up. So what you wanna do is bring your legs out, lay all the way down like so, and bring your arms up. I'm gonna inhale, you're gonna exhale as you lift and slowly roll down with control. As a modification, you can also hold your legs as you come up and hold your legs as you come down. You decide how you wanna treat today's workout. I am always gonna push myself and I'm gonna kill it, you know? That's just how I wanna do this. I wanna be sore by the end of this. I wanna be abs trembling, you know what I'm saying? I like that. Oh, also, if you haven't seen, I am so obsessed with my new yoga mat. We just released four new designs on poplexactive.com, and this one is the Celestial, and oh my gosh, it is like, it is like a Sailor Moon, Disney, everything all in one, just like magic, just so much magic. And, uh, okay, really good, move number two, you've got single straight leg stretch. So go ahead and come all the way down. What I want you to do is to extend one leg, extend the other. You are going to pull, pull, switch, switch. This is a nice hamstring stretch as well as a good core warm up right here. My eyes are gazing slightly up and forward. My low back is pressed into the mat. If you need to, you can totally bend your knees like so. If you need to, you can also lay your head down on the floor. The main thing is you guys, you need to have that low back pressed into the mat. I don't wanna see any holes from that mat to your low back. We've gotta keep the core engaged. Belly button into the spine, all right? Straight legs are gonna come with flexibility and time. That's okay. For you, focus on pressing that low back into the mat. Okay, bringing it down. Next move, you've got your double leg stretch. So you're gonna come up like so, give your legs a nice little hug, and we're gonna extend the arms. We're gonna circle it in and mini cringe, give it a hug, okay? Exhale, bring the arms and legs out and bring it in. These are classic Pilates moves. You are firing up your core. And for anyone joining in who hasn't worked out with me before, maybe you just need a little refresher, your core is not just your frontal abs, it's everything around your waist. If you were to tie a string around the small of your waist, it's everything that is touching that string. So I'm talking your back, I'm talking your obliques, everything, that's your core, okay? Good, keep going. This is gonna warm you up for the next move. Your next move is gonna be star abs and we will be sitting up for that. Okay, quick break, lay down, okay. So this time, star abs, legs out, arms out, big star, we're gonna exhale and squeeze up. And up, out, and out. It really helps to exhale as you lift here. Perfect, keeping the gaze forward squeezing those lower abs to help 
propel yourself up, but we don't want to use momentum. Everything is still with precision and control. That is what Pilates is all about, okay? And lift. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for how sore my abs are gonna be tomorrow. Seriously, like I live for that. I love the soreness. And I've been working out for so long, you guys, that um, I have to constantly do new things, new combinations, try new moves to get that sore feeling. One more. Okay, really, really good. Go ahead and lay down. Now your next move is the double leg lift. You can place your hands underneath your tailbone, head down, and bring your legs down and up like so. But for my intermediate to advance, both hands behind the nape of the neck, keeping that low back pressed to the mat, shoulder blades off of the mat, eyes gazing at the point where the wall hits the ceiling. That's kind of where you want your gaze to be. Whoo! How are those lower abs feeling? Do you feel that? Okay, make sure that low back is staying pressed into the mat, come on. Press your heels together, toes pointed, engaging the entire leg, elbows nice and wide. How we feeling? Oh yeah, it's happening, it's happening. You got about 10 seconds more of this move, come on. Whoo! You're doing so good on your fit test, come on. Down and up, okay. Oh my gosh, do you feel that? All right, next move, we got our single leg drop. So same positioning for everything, either hands under, hands behind the nape of the neck, legs up, give me alternating. Right leg down, bring it up. Left leg down, bring it up. Now if you feel your hip flexors here, you don't need to bring your leg too low, all right? You definitely don't want to bring it below parallel uh, to that mat, okay? Beautiful work. And again, if you need to bend your leg, you need to modify, limit your range of motion, that's how you're gonna do it, okay? But don't stop. You've got this. Breathing, eyes gazing towards that wall ceiling moment, okay? Got 15 seconds left of this move. You're doing so good. We are feeling the lower abs here. That low back is pressed into the mat. Come on. You're doing so good. Who's getting a thousand ab vibes? I am. Ah! Okay, bring it in. Relax, very, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna head into flutters. Hands underneath your tailbone, lifting up. Flutters, right here. Flutters, flutters, flutters. Now you can helicopter your flutters like so. You can also go up and down. Really, the motion is going to be um, not, it, it's not gonna really change the muscles that it's working. Today I'm fluttering like two Chanel little C's because I'm feeling like it. Eyes forward, come on. Belly button in. <sighs> Those lower abs are on fire, are they not? Right? Oh my gosh, keep going. You're doing so good. Come on, come on, come on. Keep fluttering, keep fluttering. Keep the shoulder blades up off of the mat. Down. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna slightly move off my mat because we're gonna be doing um, windmills next and I don't wanna hit the couch. So arms out nice and wide. Want your legs up and what we're going to do is we're gonna drop the legs all the way down to one side, keeping the shoulder blades on the mat. You're gonna lift the legs up and we're gonna go down and up. This is for the obliques. Keep pressing your palms down into the mat. You've got it, this is also so good for that spine. My low back always needs a good little twist. And I love cracking my low back. I don't know about you, but I love it. I get so proud sometimes at night, I just give it a good loud crack and I tell Sam, did you hear that? That was me, that was my back, did you hear that? Seriously, I almost do it every night. <sighs> almost there, come on. Lifting up and center. Okay, back on my mat. Now, next move is a single-legged jackknife. So this has roll-up vibes, but just single leg. Hand above, raising my right leg and bringing it back down. Modification, give me a little knee bend. If you can't do that, just give me one of these, okay? Let's go. Up and lower. Exhale up 
and down. I want you to be strong. I want you to get through this. Whew. Come on. This is your 15 minute fit test for abs. I want to see how far you can get. And every time you do this video, you are going to get stronger and stronger. How cool is that, right? Got to keep practicing. Straight leg. Exhale up and down. Squeezing your core. Lifting your chest. You've got this. Okay, now you stay down. We head into our cheerleader L's. So hands forward, bring the shoulder blades up and cheerleader L for me right here. Just hold it. Okay, we're gonna switch at 25 seconds. Now, if you need to place this leg down, feel free to do that. If you need to go here, feel free, free to do that. But keep lifting your shoulder blades off the mat. Keep squeezing your thighs. Good, five more seconds right here. Come on, come on, and switch. Hold, whoo! The more you squeeze the leg here, then we're gonna be engaging the entire leg. Also, think about squeezing from your lower abs. That's going to help squeeze everything. Come on, if you need to place the hand behind the neck to support, do it, but don't drop. You've got it. Ah! Okay, so good. All right, go ahead and bring your legs into a butterfly position. We're gonna start with butterfly crunches. Both hands behind the nape of the neck, elbows wide, and simple crunch. Exhale up and down, keeping the soles of the feet together, keeping the elbows wide. I do not want hands cupping. Um, I mean elbows cupping, okay? Lifting with your chest. We discussed this in your thousand ab challenge. You should not feel anything in your neck. Everything that's happening is in the upper abs right here, okay? Lift and lower, up and down. Whew! Man, just this tiny movement. It is getting to me, but I'm not gonna give up. You are not gonna give up. Come on. And, oh my gosh, you're gonna love me for this, as in you're gonna hate me for this. You are going to graduate into a butterfly sit up after this. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, come on. Lift up and down, one more. Up and down. Okay, stay right there. All right, same dealio, but this time all the way up, okay? All right, hands long behind. And if that's too much, you can totally stick with that crunch, okay? You're gonna get stronger every time you practice this video and you practice these moves. There's no sense in feeling bad for yourself if you can't do it. It just means, oh, that's cool. I have something new I can try, something that I can be better at. I think that's cool. And lifting up and down. Keep pressing your heels together. Keep pressing the soles of your feet together. Up and lower. You're doing so good. We're almost nearing the end, seriously. Ooh, <laughs> I got so excited. I pushed my mat all together. All right, come on. Bring it up and down. Okay, really, really good. All right, you guys. Now, we're gonna head into a reverse crunch. So what I want you to do is place your hands by your sides, crossing the ankles. We're simply gonna lift the booty up and there. So here's the thing with the reverse crunch. I don't want you to go all the way down here, no relaxing. Everything stays engaged the whole time because you only have 50 seconds. And I really want you to feel those lower abs. Lower abs. Keep pressing the palms into the mat. There it is, come on. Exhale up, inhale down. I want you to look up. Beautiful. Remember, no relaxation in the abs. We go up and we only halfway come back down. Come on. That's it. You got it. Whew. After this, you only got two more moves. Keep pressing. Keep pushing. You're almost done with your fit test. It's not meant to be easy. All righty. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and sit up. You've got corkscrew, okay? Elbows underneath the shoulders. We are lifting up. What you're going to do is you're gonna drop the legs to one side and circle it up. 
to the other side and go ahead and reverse modification. You can totally bend the knees, making sure the knees are heading into that circle. Main thing here, you guys, is that your chest stays open, your shoulders stay away from your ears. All right, I don't want any sinking heads. I want everything regal and tall, swan-like, ballerina-like. Engage, make it look effortless, even though there's so much effort. Good. You are doing amazing. This is all about your core strength, your lower abs, everything. Also working your posture as well. Okay? And relax, all right. You made it to your final move, you guys. The final move is the plank. That's it, we're gonna be done. Okay, everybody in position. Elbows underneath the shoulders and holding that plank. Let's talk about the positioning here. Elbows under the shoulders, palms flat on the mat. My back isn't down, my booty isn't up. I am planking, engaging, belly button into the spine, staying strong, eyes down on the mat. Huh. Come on, you've got this. You may be shaking right now, but you are so close to the finish line, you're not gonna stop. 20 seconds left, come on. Not even asking you to move. Breathe, look down at your mat, I'm looking at my stars, I'm looking at my moons, and it's making me really happy, and this is why I like to match my mat when I'm working out, I just feel like really put together, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hold, hold. Drop the knees and press the booty back into a child pose. Inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth and melt your chest and your palms down into the mat. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And I want you to slowly, slowly lift up with control. Give yourself a big round of applause. Oh my gosh. That was like rapid fire. That was so crazy, but also like really, really cool. And it ended up going by a lot faster than I um, thought it would have. So thank you for working out with me. It always inspires me to go even harder when I get to teach you. So I wanna know in the comments below, how far did you get before you had to take a break? Remember, there's no sense in feeling bad. You only need to compare yourself against who you were yesterday, not anybody else. Trust me, that is the key to happiness in your life because when I used to compare myself to other people, it really was the thief of my joy. You've heard that quote, right? I've said it a million times. Comparison is the thief of joy. It really is. So just stop doing it. It doesn't do anyone good. Okay. All right, you guys, you did amazing. Um, make sure you are subscribed to Blogilates and I will see you next time for our next workout. Okay. Bye.